know what's funny? Everyone's quick to suggest that I am a misogynist because of the fact that I have 3.4% female viewership. Has anyone ever stopped to consider that maybe I'm the victim here and women just aren't fucking with bald men? Maybe, maybe women are baldest, dude. Maybe dudes have no problem watching a dude who doesn't have any fucking hair, but women say, ew, look at this fucking freak. I'm not going to watch this shithead. I think I'm the victim here, man. You got it all twisted. You were, you were saying, I don't like women. That's not true, man. Women don't like me. I'm the victim here. I'm flipping the script on them. I would love to have more female viewers, but unfortunately, they're just not fucking with my hairstyle. You know what's throwing me for a loop? I did a co-op dolls video with Apollo. On my end, 8% female viewership. On his end, 32% female viewership. It's the same fucking video, dude. The only difference, it's an, it's an A-B test. My version has a bald man in the corner. His version doesn't. Very interesting. Women are not beating the allegations, man. They're baldest. Not all of them, I'm sure. If they want to prove that they're not baldest, they should watch my fucking stream then. <laughs> How about that? Librarian, why do you follow uh, Dan Henschel's girlfriend on Twitter? She has like 1,100 followers, man. Why are you... <laughs> Is his wife? Same difference, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> it's an incredible bit. Well, I saw the tweet that was like, sometimes Dan will leave the house and be like, I'll be back soon. And then he comes back and he's dressed like the Joker and we just eat dinner and don't talk about it. But then I clicked on like her profile and it was like followed by number one Wednesday Adam Stan or whatever. I just couldn't believe it. Like you're... You're up there, man. I don't know what to say. In f I bet it took her five seconds to write that. I bet she, she opened her phone, click, clack, cl click. Ten seconds, maybe. And she got 100,000 likes. That's just the last time I checked. Every time I check, it goes up 5,000. She's probably got 110,000 now. I bet she'll get to 200K. And my video... I slaved over. I, I'll be lucky if it breaks 40. By the way, we have a helium balloon in our house and it's, uh, it's haunting me. Because we got it like six or seven days ago or something like that. And it's running out of helium. And now it is falling. It, I keep putting it upstairs. It somehow locomotes down the stairs, around the corner, and then into my office. I think it's because I have my fan on. So my fan is generating like a really, really small current of air. And over like 20 minutes, the, the, it's back, man! I can see it, man. It's uh, here it comes, dude! Ow! Oh, it doesn't have enough lift. But it's, there it is right there. So I, I, I keep like, I literally just before the stream, I put it upstairs like around the corner and then I watched during the bit and it was coming down the stairs and then it did the 90 degree turn to make it inside of my office. I, I can't man, I can't, cause I, I can't get it out of here. I'm just gonna trap it in the bathroom, man. Give me a second. I had to close it in. Holy cow. <clears throat> Let's see, if you're enjoying the rise and fall of the Third Reich, okay, what kind of recommendations you got for me, Audible? You might want to work on your machine learning algorithm because it's kind of a, it's a bit of a somber read. And the headline for your MailChimp article is, let's keep a good thing going. Based on your recent listening, we'll think you'll enjoy. Actually, that might be sick, man. Babylon, Mesopotamia, and the Birth of Civilization by Paul Kurwazik. They might have sold me on that one. I got, I got 12 credits I keep 
stalling, so literally just wasting like nine bucks a month or something like that. But many of you are subscribed here, so I think you can relate to that. Great time for the UFO 50 music to kick in. It's all about timing, 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 Derek. Thank you. If you had been like two seconds earlier, that clip would have fucking popped, man. Did you see the <laughs> Librarian, you must have seen it because you've tailored your algorithm to be like mine, right? Did you see the tweet that was the best stand-up bit that I've seen in years? And it was uh, from the Ellen special, and she says like, Yeah, I yell. I'm demanding. I'm a strong woman. And I'm impatient, and I'm demanding, I'm direct. I'm a strong woman. And then there's like 52 seconds of standing ovation afterwards. <laughs> it's edited, but I don't think it's like super edited. And the edit is really, really funny. Brother, I looked it up. The Ellen clip is not edited. No, I don't believe that. I don't believe that she sat there for a minute while they were applauding her for saying that she was a strong woman in response to allegations that she was mistreating her workforce and being abusive on her TV show. I don't believe- I- I'm- I know you might not extend the same courtesy. I'm giving her the benefit of the doubt that they edited the clip to make it look like she was more high on her own supply than she actually was. Hmm. Well, let's think about it. Just had a what day of the week is Canadian Thanksgiving trivia question last night. Thanks, NL, for the assist. It's every day, bro. Well, it's not every day. It's Monday. <laughs> it's Mondays, bro. <clears throat> Wednesday, psychotic. I think it's crazy, although I understand that it lends itself nicely to a four-day weekend. But I was going to say, I think it's crazy that a uh, American Thanksgiving is on Thursday. Like, Monday makes sense because you just kind of roll it into the weekend. Thursday, don't you have to, like make up a holiday for the Friday? Because I know you can't just get the Friday off because all you pedantic motherfuckers were in my mentions. Well, family day is not a real holiday. Doesn't make any sense, man. All of a sudden, what, so what do you, why do you get Friday off on Thanksgiving weekend? Oh, because it's part of the, the Thanksgiving Thursday to Sunday corridor. Fuck you, man. Ohio ass. Can I just say, at Northern Lion farted a huge smelly fart to get us out of the house today? That's true. I will never deny that. Can I, can I say something in my defense? 9 a.m. is when work starts. 9-0-0-0-1 rolled around. I said, I'm in my office right now. I went Nutty Professor 2 the clumps mode. That was my time. I don't know what you want me to say. Maybe that's why the balloon is haunting you. Yeah, Kate, I had to lock the balloon in my bathroom because it's losing helium, so it no longer, like, floats up very well. Uh, and I have my fan on, so it's generating enough of, like, a current that I kept bringing the balloon upstairs, and after, like, 10 minutes, just a light little air current would cause it to float down the stairs and then go around the, the wall to come into my office, and then it would, like jump scare me behind me. It was freaking me out. Achieve a streak of five. Okay, let's let's give it a try, man. Let's give it a try. By the way, Jay, I wanted to ask. You're, you seem like the guy to ask. What's the deal with the sports card market right now? I say that as someone who's not um, in it at all. I mean, I got like some hockey cards. None of them are valuable. I got this, uh, you know, Upper Deck Portraits, Elias Pettersson here. It's probably, can somebody eBay this? It's not hollow or signed, it doesn't have a jersey or anything, it's just kind of nothing. It's just kind of Elias Pettersson with his mouth open going like... But I was talking about it yesterday, and I was like, um... Isn't it like, sports card... Investment. I say that without judgment. It's kind of like buying stocks... Um, 
in players, hoping that the players' careers take off. We're kind of entering the junk wax era again, to be honest. CJ Stroud and Wemby have made companies start to overproduce cards. Okay, all right. You know what's crazy to me? So I, I started collecting hockey cards for a little bit in like 95 to like 2000 when I was like around 10 years old. And back at the time, the junkest set of hockey cards was called Pro Set. And the reason was they produced like way, 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 way too many sets of Pro Set. So even the... Like, when they were 10 years old, it was still like 25 cents a pack or something like that. We went to the card game store because Kate wanted some Pokemon cards. They had boxes of Pro Set and they were like a dollar a pack. <laughs> They're still burning the stock man from 1991 they're still burning pro set stock that's crazy it never ends those are truly junk i know it's junk because like when i was a kid and my like aunt would buy me a birthday present my parents would be like you know he's in the hockey cards so they would just buy me like the whole set of pro set it was probably like 25 bucks for every card that they printed in the whole set there were no rares or nothing, man. So I probably have like three or four full sets of pro set. And even like the Wayne Gretzky card is worth fucking nothing. Anyway, okay, random scenario. Oh, excuse me here. When are you going to do some power zone rides so I can try to catch your score? I'm tired, I'm tired of competing with Midwestern Emo. That's Dio Guigo, by the way, and Moomin Rider. Um, I do, I do um, power zone rides five to six days a week, brother. I just do them on Scenics because I don't need the instructor telling me to go to zone two, now go to zone three, now go to zone two, now go to zone three. Because 90, I, I got nothing against Matt Wilpers, but, you know, after you take a few of those, you kind of get the... <laughs> the flow in your head you don't really need an instructor to tell you what to do this one i it's crazy because i like to play games in an adhd sort of style this one pushing you to go faster because you can't stand still for more than a second is somehow like it shatters my brain if they told me to if you told me i should say to slow down i would be like fuck you you don't tell me what to do I go fast, because my brain's fucking fast. Fuck you. Fuck you. But this one telling me to go fast is like, no, I just needed to stand, I just needed to gather my thoughts for a second. Are you a contrarian? No, I just like to go my own way like fucking Stevie Nicks, man. I don't even know if that's her song, now that I think about it. That might be a Lindsey Buckingham joint. Isn't it crazy that in Fleetwood Mac, one of the girls is named Steve? And one of the guys is named Lindsay. They were really, like, ahead of their fucking time. Rumors? No, man, it's all fucking true. That's, that's a sick joke. <laughs> not, the, not the Flight of the Concords ripoff, but the, the one about the names. Oh, man, I'm gonna put that in my stand-up special. Along with the one I came up last night when I was falling asleep. Imagine you were getting insulted by, like, a really fat guy, and then he told you he was forklift certified you could reply with something like yeah right brother maybe forklick certified and he would be like what the fuck dude he would be so owned that would he would have no response that was what was going on in my head last night it was like if a, if a really really fat guy who's forklift certified ever insults me i've got the perfect comeback man he's not gonna see it coming Ooh, but that backflip though remember king botch Backflip, though. I don't really know anything about King Botch except Ooh, but that backflip, though, which I think is a, a genuine work of comedy genius. And then also the one where he's eating a bowl of cereal, but he has an insanely comically oversized spoon. Hey, dog, you get some ice cream? It's only a spoonful. Yeah, that one is also pretty good, man. I could, you know, I'm not gonna say everything he's done has been. You know, a 10 out of 10 comedy-wise, but he was kind of cooking with only a spoonful. It's so funny that Apollo hates TikTok, because he's actually, like, the most vine-pilled uh, user on this entire website. He knows every vine that was ever made. Now, vine was a little bit... 
less troubling than TikTok. I'll give you that. But TikTok is the is the modern analog for sure. Remember Byte? I was all in on Byte, man. Remember my classic Byte? Where I put some Harvest Cheddar Sun Chips on a Subway sandwich and said, on Byte, we put the chips on the sandwich. I thought for sure that was going to be my... <laughs> that backflip, though. <laughs> By the way, chat, I'm, I'm stoked to tell you my car's tires are no longer flat because I switched to my winners yesterday. I feel like a big boy. I know it's a weird thing for a nearly 36-year-old man to say. That I, like, there was a problem with our car and I fixed it by getting someone else to fix it. But, like, it's called living in a service economy. Right, the ugly gun? Oh, don't, don't leave. Thank you. Not this scam again. <laughs> Winter tires, a scam. Drinking water is a scam. Electricity is a scam, man. Listen to you. You sound like the small Lebowski. Huge motherfucking plays. Whatever. 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 <laughs> Winter tires are a scam. All right, man. Just put the fries in the bag, okay? I've always wanted to say that. I apologize. Mm. Classist streamer. <laughs> you guys are always getting mad at me for stimulating the motherfucking economy. <laughs> for like two days of winter? What, uh, listen, buddy, I'm just trying not to have my family die on the Coca Hollow, okay? It's not your money. Like, once you've given me the money for subscribing, you, you lose agency over it. If you wanted to have a say in it, well, you should have held on to it. It kinda is. You need to take an economics class, buddy. You ever watch It's a Wonderful Life? Go to the bank. The money's not here, it's in Bill's house in Jane's business. We loaned it out to save Silicon Valley Bank. Oops, I've killed myself. You can jump on enemies. A wise person once told me that. I don't know why I sounded like Dan Aykroyd there. Crystal Skull Vodka. Maybe I got a goaded Dan Aykroyd impression in me. It would make sense. He's... I don't know if he's from my hometown. But he's like... Associated with my hometown. He's not even Canadian. He might be like American Canadian. Fuck you. He's from Kingston, Jamaica. Me on Facebook uh, in 2006 setting the location of the house party we're about to have. The, mo the original millennial sin. Born in Ottawa. Ottawa, fucking Kingston, Trenton. Same shit, different day. Ain't nothing good in the hood. I'd run away from this bitch and never come back if I could. It's actually kind of like a pretty okay place to live, honestly, I think. No disrespect. <clears throat> Rare, no disrespect that's actually no disrespect. Worst student city of all time. It's actually a great place to be a student. It's just a bad place to live close to the students. I say that as someone who's been on both sides of town gown relations. It's gotta be one- oh, I'm dead. It's gotta be one of the greatest places of all time to be a student because basically like that one end of downtown is just students. So you can just like, you know, fuck up your, the property and you're like, what do I care? I'm doing my masters at McGill. But like when you're their neighbor, you're like, what the fuck, dude? Go to sleep. It's a Tuesday and you guys are always like, I'm so busy. I'm so busy. I don't know if I can go to Ritual Friday at 11 a.m. I'm just so, I got so many papers. What's the other one called? Queen students, what's the other one called? At Alfie's? Maybe they maybe it's not called Alfie's anymore. I don't know. I haven't been there for a bit. I remember Alfie's a couple nights a week when I was in school. They used to do $10 bottles of wine. That may or may not sound crazy, but A, they're Canadian dollars. And B, like this is out at a nightclub. Like a $10 bottle of wine at a nightclub is psychotic. <laughs> Even in 2008, 2009, that was like, we were like, this is fucking cheap, dude. 
Who drinks wine at a club? Everybody, when it's 10 bucks a bottle. You'd be stupid to drink anything else. You'd also be stupid to drink the wine, because like you, it's a definitely hangover fuel at those prices, but what's wrong with water? Coolest guy at the club? I don't mind the hydroids who only drink water. Even though, like, obviously they want, like, a lot of credit for it, which I think is very funny. But it's the hydroids who don't only drink water, but shame you for drinking, like, a Diet Coke. When they're asked, like, every Friday has, like, six Japanese whiskeys or something. That's, those are the hydroids that, honestly, I just can't even. Fuck you, man. <laughs> then they're like, I really only drink water. And you're like, okay, what about, like, when, uh, it's work happy hour? And they're like, well, yeah, okay, I've been known to have like six or seven double IPAs like one to two times a week. But apart from that, I really only drink water. Yeah, you never want to drink your calories, bro. Unless it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday up to about 6 p.m., you never want to drink your calories. That's like the first thing they teach you in nutrition school. You know what's funny to me? We're, we're so cooked for health and wellness influencers. We have like... Man Manosphere fitness influencers who don't eat processed foods, but they smoke cigars. How did we get here, man? What, 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 what are we cooking up societally at this point? <laughs> we have fitness influencers who are like, if you eat fucking like canola oil, you're gonna die. And then they're smoking a cigar. I mean, I guess they're like free range organic, but... I'm not saying it's a grift, I'm implying it's a grift. It's two very different things, legally speaking, within the scope of the law. At least I stopped getting the ad on Twitter that was like, please DM me and I'll teach you some recipes for like, rest of the food that's good for men's health, and it was literally just a bowl of cheeseburgers <laughs> with no buns. <laughs> that was like the only ad I got on Twitter for like, I don't even know, it must have been like, Maybe six months, man. And then I, when I brought it up, I thought nobody else had the ad. And people were like, yes, the bowl of burgers. I was just thankful that it wasn't just me. I love when you get the ads that are like, Psst, hey, I've cracked the code of like business to business software as a service sales. DM me and I'll give you my playbook. And then you look at the analytics on the ad and there's like one like and no replies. And you're like, Fuck you, eat shit. Waste your money. I'd rather it wasn't going to Elon, but like... <laughs> at least you don't have it. At least he has been involved in the production of electric cars. I'm not saying you have to hand it to him, I'm just saying... <laughs> at least he's doing... The, there's a little bit, possibly, of good that has come with a lot of the bad as well. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I know they use lithium or whatever, but like, that shit can't be that precious. They're giving it out to like, ninth grade chemistry classes to do experiments and shit. It isn't helping shit. It's helping me know what car is not to park next to in the parking lot, because the fucking white Tesla Model 3s be opening their doors. Clang! 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 You're gonna raise your female viewership if you play UFO 50 this much? You're right, we should probably pivot to deadlock. We already went through it at the start of the stream. I don't have control over the percentage of female viewership that I have. Women have control over whether or not they watch me. The fact that my analytics for female viewership are so bad is more of an indictment of uh, their opinion of me than my opinion of them. I love women. I got no problem with women. Got a lot of problems with men. More problems than, than with women, for sure. But for some reason, they don't fuck with me. And I'm, I'm just saying it's... It's hard not to believe that there's a little bit of baldism going on. Because as much as we like to believe that, like, we're in such an enlightened society, there's still, like, I mean, a lot of people out there believe that there are more things that separate us than more things that bring us together. Which I think is sad, but obviously not everybody feels the same way. Wait, wait, my wife said something? Let me go check. <clears throat> Ryan wants women to fuck with him? That's not what I said. I mean, that's what I said, but it's not the meaning of the words. That's a polymorphic word. Break platforms more slowly. Women don't care that you're bald. Well, 
explain why they're not watching my fucking Slay the Spire videos then. This seems a little bit too convenient. Exactly, curious. It is curious. Honestly, it's very curious. Maybe I'll just start growing my hair out. That would do it. <laughs> Are women fucking with the skullet? English-speaking women of the world, are you fucking with the skullet? Yes, yes, yes. You see the tweet that was like, I work out five days a week to have the physique of what was considered a comically overweight man in the 1990s, and it was a picture of Frasier with his shirt off? I know many people were not there in the 90s. It's a funny tweet, okay? Don't get me wrong. And I feel bad for the person who tweeted it, because there are a bunch of blue checks in the mentions that are like, how much carbohydrates do you eat? Um, which is like... It's a joke, people. That being said, I do need to point out, Frazier was not considered comically overweight in the 1990s, okay? Jason Alexander as George was considered comically overweight in the 1990s. The punchline for George is like, he's fat. Nowadays, he just, just looks like a normal guy. But Frazier was like, he was just considered, he, he was a normal guy in the 90s. He was just, and he's tall too. And he's got a sick hairline. And he believes in small government. <laughs> so honestly, you're just jealous that Frazier fucking dines at the hottest restaurants, has the coolest brother in the world, a great relationship with his father and his dog. Frazier haters, you can take one of these and call me in the fucking morning. Bounce him? Bounce him? I can't believe that in theory we have an... Oh, okay, we're not getting another key. That's okay. You know what? Set attainable goals and then attain them. Oh! <laughs> oh! You have escaped Valgress! But somewhere, Sharka still lives. That's a guild. We might be able to get a fucking cherry on this though, man. Cherry is very doable. Can I tell you something fucked up? My parents are, are coming to Vancouver today, spend some time. I was texting my mom this morning when I was on the bike. You know, we had like a, a, a conversation going and I said, uh, what time does your flight land? I'm sitting there 90 minute Sarasota, Florida ride, right? Like, I got nothing to do. I need some stimulation. No reply. Finish that ride. 30 minutes in Croatia. Finish that ride. Hopped off the bike. Got in the shower. No reply still. I'm like, is everything okay? Go upstairs to help with the morning routine. My wife's phone goes like... Or whatever sound like the, the WhatsApp type apps make. I look at the sender. It's my fucking mom, dude. Text it, texting my wife, but not texting her son? What, what am I, a chopped liver, man? I'm your own flesh and blood. <laughs> Baldism? Well, you know what, that's the thing is it's... It's societal, you know, it's systemic. I'm not saying anybody's a bad person for being bald. It's so, you know, we all grew up in the same system. All we can try to do as individuals is, is maybe break the cycle, you know? We're all victims of it. It's not because you're bald, it's because you're a toe walker. Where, where do you think I got it from, man? It came for free with my fucking DNA, I think. Or I don't know if science has figured that shit out yet. It's like uh, the nutrients in Diet Coke. <laughs> it's, it's, we, we don't have that kind of technology yet, but like, we do be matching each other's gait from time to time. Are album remasters the biggest scam in the music industry next to listening to any music that Katy Perry has come out with since 2012. When I hop in my fucking car, and I go, hey kid, play Reminiscing by the Little River Band, and it pulls out the fucking 2010 remastered edition, it doesn't have the, the warmth on the doom 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 doom. It, does, it doesn't have the warmth, it's all fucking, all the levels have been sussed out, man. Like, I, w I was listening to Spotify yesterday, and a song from Spoon's 2009 album, Ga 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 Ga, came on. I looked at the album, it said 15 year remastered edition. Why are you, I mean, I, I, it's old. I'm not, this is not like an I'm old bit. It's more like, what the fuck 
technological advances have happened in indie music between 2009 and 2024. Good album, though. It's got some bops. In that kind of vein, I'll always be a little bit more of a Ted Leo girly, I think. It's just it's got a little bit more of like the DIY sensibility. Sorry to go like uh, Patrick Bateman on you, but but I do like I like Spoon well enough, and that that's probably my favorite album of theirs. <clears throat> Correct as always, King. I appreciate that. Thank you, Theodore Leo, Jerry, Jerry. Your your cousin Eddie believes in something beautiful, and he's getting up and being it. Are you telling me he's fighting for the smallest goal to gain a little self control? Yes, Jerry! Yes! See, you get it! You guys fucking with Ted Leo? You fucking with me and or Mia? I don't get it. Yeah, no surprise there. Enjoy your brat summer, people. I mean, I'm balls deep in Fugazi fall. Which one of you fuckers said, I am a pastry boy? <laughs> This is gonna be that you've you've ruined the song for me. I am a pastry boy. <laughs> I bake, I bake, I bake, I bake. You motherfucker. So that's, that's a William Gibson fucking psychic virus. By the way, librarian, thanks for glazing me with that deadlock clip on uh, on X the Everything app. I really appreciate it. Oh, you almost got me, just kidding. Instead I've exploded dealing damage to you, and then I punched you in the head and killed you. I like how someone said Sick Read by NL. I had to watch the clip like 20 times to figure out what they were even referring to. I believe it's when someone tried to use an ability on me, and it appeared that in response, I entered my incorporeal briefcase where I couldn't take any damage. What they don't know is that genuinely, anytime someone starts to shoot at me, I just press every button that corresponds to an ability on my keyboard. So it looked like I was... I was reading them. But really, it's just a, a glitch in the motherfucking matrix. But it looked fucking sick. I, I won't dispute that. What would you guys do if you were the one, you think? Like, I'll tell you straight up, if I found out that I was Neo, Day one, saving Zion, 100%. Day two, dodgeball tournament. You gotta put those skills to use, man. You, you can't be hit. You literally can't be hit. It's impossible for your team to lose. I'm a stake at the table sort of guy. What, you're, you're like Cypher? Well, if, if you're Cypher and I'm Morpheus, I'm kicking your ass off the Nebuchadnezzar. Didn't the Oracle ever consider telling Morpheus, like, hey, by the way, Cypher's gonna betray your all, oh, but if they didn't fucking uh, tell, if they told Morpheus, then Morpheus wouldn't have ever got it. Well, okay, what about fucking Switch and Apoc and um, Mouse, okay? Are they just chop liver to you? Are they just grist for the fucking mill? They lost their lives, man. And they're worth nothing to you? They're just, they're just pawns to be sacrificed in, in a game of chess? It makes me fucking sick. My, my seven-hour video essay, Why the Oracle is the Real Villain of the Matrix. Yeah, we've been talking about the grocery store a lot less and the Matrix a lot more. It's just because, like, I mean, I've, I've been to the grocery store enough, man. I mean, like, the, the stories mostly, like, they're kind of... <laughs> I think I've heard them all. <laughs> what do you want me to say? I, I was there yesterday. I was buying stuff for my parents to eat while they're here. I mean, if, maybe I should remove the grocery tag. The only thing I was thinking is like, and I'm, I'm happy to do it, by the way. This is just, uh, it's just funny to me. But my mom was like, can you pick me up a few things? And I was like, sure, no, it's no problem. And it is literally no problem because I'm going to the grocery store almost every day anyway. But the list that she gave me, I was like, how much do my parents drink, man? Like not alcohol, just like sheer volume of liquid. Because I, the list had orange juice, coffee, 1% milk, coffee, creamer, soy milk, and almond milk on it. And like, I spend lots of time with these people. 90% of the beverages that they consume are water. 
So like, it's gotta be one of the heaviest grocery trips I've ever had in my entire life. They are, they're liquid maxing. It's, there's no doubt about it and it's, it's working out for them. They're looking good, but like, they were like, we just need some stuff to get through like our first couple days until we can go to the grocery store. I felt like, I was like, damn, are you opening up like a smoothie bar or something? But then like, you know, I'm the asshole. Because as soon as my mom gets here, she's going to be like, do you want a smoothie? And I'm going to be like, yum, yes, please. <laughs> what a maroon. This is why they want you to ignore coins. Who's they? Why are you talking like it's the deep state or something? They. <laughs> the most nefarious use of they. I will say there are conspiracies, though. I'm loath to admit it, but we ordered Papa John's last night. Can I tell you something Papa John's doesn't want you to know? In Canada right now, medium pepperoni pizza, possibly my, my nearly four-year-old daughter's favorite food, $15.75 Canadian. Pretty normal price for a, a, a chain pizza restaurant. Maybe a little bit on the expensive side. For $9.99, you can get a combo deal that's one medium one topping pizza plus another item that's either another one medium one topping pizza or 10 chicken wings the the pizza sized chocolate chip cookie you could get a papa john's quesadilla which i am never gonna do let's be honest so i said you know what brother i'm getting that medium one topping with pepperoni and then i added 10 boneless chicken wings on top now i do want to say I don't know if anybody here works at Papa John's or is involved in the supply chain. Those are not chicken wings. Imagine my surprise when I opened the box and what met me were 10 breaded chicken nuggets that they have called boneless chicken wings. It's not wing meat. It's, it's breast meat, which is fine, but like that do not advertise them as wings. They're not wings. They're like bad chicken nuggets. That's what boneless wings are. Since when does boneless mean that they're breaded with like chicken nugget batter, man? Since always? Really? I thought they just like... I don't know, I thought, I thought it was just a, a, a wing without a bone. Then you might say, how, do you, how would you deign that they would ever get that done? What kind of mythical chickens are they using? I don't know, brother, it's all fucking Franken food. Let's be honest. They put a man on the moon, surely they can debone a chicken wing and still leave it looking like a reasonable facsimile of its original form. I'm firmly on the side of bone-in, and I'm, I'm resisting the temptation to do a double entendre because I consider that beneath me. Because we used to order Korean fried chicken, and you get a choice between boneless and bone-in, and I would always be like, let's go boneless, because like, you know, I don't, it's not my first rodeo, I don't mind eating around the bone, but at the same time, if you could just say fuck the bone, then whatever. Then one time, they were like out of boneless, so we ordered bone-in. And the flavor was like a thousand percent better. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot. That's where the flavor comes from. That's why you're making stock with the fucking carcass, man. That's cope. It's not cope, man. I'm telling you, the bone, the bone adds a certain je ne sais quoi. And I will not get the wings again. I might rather get a papadilla, which is a, I never thought you'd hear the words come out of my mouth, but you're getting less meat. Have you been outside recently, brother? I think we all got enough meat right now. I'm not concerned about that. I'm, I'm hedonism maxing. Wait, wait, wait. I wanna, I wanna eat good flavors, not a bowl full of slop. I'm not out here trying to beat the restaurant. The restaurant won as soon as I walked in. I'm out here trying to, like, sip from the cup of life before it's yanked from my hands. You know. And hopefully it's a while away. But that's the thing. You never know. So enjoy what you got while you got it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Nope, not today, bitch. <laughs> Sorry, there was no need for that. Not today, bastard. Hey, NL, I'm in Vancouver this weekend. Should I bring a jacket? I would bring, if you have like an athleisure type of like windbreaker, I would definitely bring it. Like, it's the, the weather right now, and you know it's my favorite subject. You already know I'm obsessed with it. The weather right now is in a, a transition phase. So yesterday, it was like 22 Celsius when I was outside. And then this morning, it was like 
9 or 10 and like a torrential downpour. So if you got like an Arcteryx, now's the time for sure. Otherwise, I would definitely recommend, I mean like a, a jacket to deal with the rain, which we often have, of course. Uh, a lot of people like to dunk on Vancouver by calling it rainy day real estate. <laughs> and then, I don't know, like a, 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 an athleisure windbreaker would be enough. If you don't have that, maybe a rain jacket and like a, a zip up fleece or something like that. Something that you can take on and off, because it's like the days are like half summer, half fall right now, as you might expect. You know what's crazy? Anyone else live in a warm climate and, con well, relatively warm climate? Let's call it a mild climate. And then you see tourists come to your city in July or August, and they're wearing like puffy winter jackets when it's 30 degrees Celsius outside. And what the fuck are you thinking? Maybe you know your body better than I do, that's been suggested, but like... I mean, I used to think like, they just are coming to Canada and they don't really know that Vancouver is like a mild climate compared to something like Montreal or <laughs> Moose Factory or whatever. But now I'm like, you got an iPhone, just like Google Vancouver weather, man. You'll, you'll be like, oh fuck, it's gonna be 35 degrees Celsius today maybe leave the, the Canada goose at home. Aren't you the guy that mmm, 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 mmm. But 17 years ago you said mmm, 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 mmm. Go outside. You're sentenced to one day eating your lunch on a park bench. No phone. You could you can check you can use your phone to check what time it is to make sure you're not late for whatever you have to do after you finish your, your lunch. But Cause like I'm not, nobody's wearing, not many people at least are wearing watches these days. I'm not gonna do, I'm not gonna get you fired. But yeah, you're, you're sentenced to expand your worldview beyond your 4K monitor. How'd you know my monitor was goaded? Because of the text of your posts. No disrespect. Can I take a picture of the leaves? Sure, nobody's like hitting the heart on that shit anyway. So if it, if it fulfills you, then go for it, brother. Stick to fauna posting, okay? I'm putting the system on trial today. Sorry, I can't glance. <laughs> no! I'm alive and have never been more alive. Yes. Yes. That's bullshit, I didn't step on- I deliberately didn't step on that switch, you sack of crap. You're 12 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag, buddy. Maybe fucking Fork Lick certified. No! I thought I could make it! What does that mean? I don't know, it's just something that old people say, man. You're 12 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag? I think it means that... You're, like, overflowing with shit. You know, like you're writing checks with your mouth that your ass can't cash. You've been sentenced to one round, no glancing. Okay. Okay, I, I sentenced the others, so I'll... Okay, there's one round. All right, I'm, I can glance again. I was going to make a joke about shrinkflation of manure bags during the Great Depression. Okay, welcome back, John Steinbeck. Rip John Steinbeck, you would have loved Twilight. New Moon. What would John stream on Twitch? It'd probably stream like Frostpunk or something, too, if, we're, if, we're, if we're being honest. He seems like that sort of guy. Grand Theft Auto RP. <laughs> John Steinbeck would have been a crazy burger shot cashier in Grand Theft Auto RP, man. 13 remaining. Okay, this is lock in, okay? I'm not going to read chat. And we were going to make high percentage plays. That was a fucked up little maze they put me in. They tried to kill me. That's not a high percentage play, you sack of crap. You're 12 pounds of crap in a 10 pound bag, buddy. You and what army, pal? Yeah, and the horse you rode in on. On your bike. <laughs> when you're playing as a white guy in a MOBA and you spam your abilities. <laughs> hmm, working hard or hardly working? Oh, I guess it's free then. You know why we use those lines, buddy? Because it works, okay? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Keep it simple, stupid. 
I guess they'll let anybody in here. Yo, but like, either your dad hitting someone with that at a restaurant, or your dad getting hit by that in a restaurant, made you feel like he was the biggest big shot in the world. Like, it's such a good line. Someone coming up behind your dad and like slapping him on the back and going, I guess they'll let anybody in here. If you're like nine years old and your dad is your hero, you're like, oh, fuck. This guy's so fucking cool. He's got friends everywhere, even in the Swiss chalet. When your authority figure is accepted by the tribe. <laughs> yes. Maybe evolutionarily there is there is something to that. Who knows, man? I don't know. Nobody does because it's impossible to test for. That's what makes the field so compelling. That does it? Oh, fuck. It sends a chill up your spine. When a nice guy gets mad. Jeez Louise. <laughs> It is kind of crazy to think that that's what, like, Dwight Eisenhower was saying when he was, like, commanding the, <laughs> the Allied forces in Western Europe. Jeez Louise, You're putting up a lot of pressure on Dieppe right now. Because it could be worse. What about if there's, like, a World War III and Gen Alpha's in charge? Sir, they're targeting our gyat. <laughs> they're trying to riz up our gyat. The one that we mewed? Yes, sir. The one that we mute. It's a skibbity slaughterhouse out there. <laughs> My daughter's still, like, far too young to, um... really be getting, like, these PSA lessons yet. Like, she's not even four years old yet. But I remember, like, I never smoked. The reason I never smoked is because my mom, like, maxed into teaching me never to smoke. As a kid, she was like, like, don't do the hard drugs, especially, obviously, but also like, don't ever smoke uh, cigarettes. There's no point, ain't no point to the damn game or nothing. I think that's true for like a lot of millennials. And then maybe we got a little complacent with Generation Z, but anyway, that's not, that's for society to bear. It's not for me to bear. I was thinking, what do I want to spec into? I'd like to pass on don't smoke cigarettes. I would also like to pass on never gamble. <laughs> no! I shot too many times! I'm not saying that you can't gamble somewhat responsibly. And by responsibly, I mean logically accepting that you know you're gonna lose money in the long term, but treating it as like part of your entertainment budget and either limiting yourself if you feel like you're going out of control or like not even having the impulse to go out of control and it's self-limiting but i also just think it's one of those things that's like why play with fire you know you know it burns but it burns so good <laughs> no. gambling is for the boys anyway mm, i counter that with a uh, sexist much plus 0.5 percent female audience on this video Thanks for the free tech. Honestly, like it, it might seem like it's a small increment, but this is the laning phase. So I just, you just gave me one of your creeps. You allowed me to deny it. And as a result, now I'm two creeps ahead of you on farm. And you stack that up over 10 minutes. You're done, bud. You're done. Women aren't watching this shit, bud. I know they got better things to do, which is based. There you go. I just denied another one. Now I bought Infuser before you, and I'm using it to uh, gank you. I've just ganked you, and now you're missing 10 minutes of farm. Because you're in base raging at your teammate when you don't realize it was your own fault the whole time. Sad story. You know what? It happens a lot, brother. It happens a lot. Shaving your head's a fucking scam, man. I shaved that shit on Friday. It's Wednesday. I gotta shave that shit again. This shit is like Return of the King. It won't end. It was functionally over like 19 years ago, but it just, it, it, they, they won't roll the fucking credits. Why don't you laser? Because it's fucking expensive and annoying. Like, why doesn't anybody do anything? It's fucking inconvenient and costs money. <laughs> annoying once? No, motherfucker. Annoying like for eight sessions until it's done. I'd rather just shave it, even though it is annoying. Because shaving it takes like 10 minutes, one to two times a week. And it costs essentially zero money. 
oh, really? So the calories you use to manipulate the razor are not, they were free? Did you steal some food out of the dumpster or something? Okay, listen, Point Dexter. You don't want to do this. You don't want to have a basal metabolic rate off right now, okay? Because I'll leave you in the dirt. Librarian, back me up here. 120 mins today. You're, thank you. Thank you, Grima. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these spring rolls. Whoops. <laughs> oh, no, I did it in all chat. Hello. I'm also in a league game right now. No, man, no. Spring rolls kind of washed. Simultaneously tasty and possibly one of the most overrated foods on the planet. If you have a restaurant that has great spring rolls, cherish it, man. Because, like, when you try out a new Thai restaurant or a new Vietnamese restaurant, sometimes you're just getting deep fried paper. But for the, the one that actually puts, like, oh, meat and some, like, mushrooms in it and stuff like that, that's what it's all about, man. I, I like spring rolls. I, I am just saying, though, I think that they could possibly be the most overrated food on the planet. Nice. <laughs> oh, I've been lashed. Whatever the fuck that means. I'm in there, buddy. I'm in there with you. I promise I'm right there with you. How did you live, you? You're 12 pounds of shit in a 10 pound bag. If you need me, I'll be hiding in this thing. Whatever, they're cooked. You can't stop me. Yes! Okay, that, that was my bad, I dulled the tower. But that way, if I knew what I was doing, he'd be cooked right now. <laughs> You're just lucky. You're just, he's, he's one tapped, man. Get him, he's one tap throw. Doesn't, who's my teammate? Don't they have like a bomb or something? Abrams, all right, boy. Hit the wrong button. So what, we hit the wrong button. Now I got ult, it's over for you guys. Slashed me, Jerry. Whatever. You can ult again in three seconds anyway. Get the fucking jungle creeps out of here, man. I escaped. Sorry, bub. We take those. <laughs> We're losing on farm! Are you kidding me, man? You gotta get last hits? What are you talking about? We're winning lane. I'm raging at the rest of my team. Yeah, I'm telling my fan to step it up a little bit. Like, I don't know what's going on in their lane, but, you know, me and Abrams, we're getting dove here, like, nonstop, and we're holding it down. We're winning lane. This is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to be in a MOBA with me, okay? Let's not squander it. It's a, you know what? It's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for me to be in a, in a MOBA with you. Let's make the best of it. Everything's okay. Just don't feed. We have a, we have a fan in the game right now. They're going to go Super Saiyan mode. They're going to go Michael Jordan flu game mode. All we got to do is give them a chance. Oh, we got, we got numbers. We got numbies. We, the fan is here. I got an assist. I was shooting creeps the whole time. That one's for you, viewer. I mean, it's from you as well, so. <laughs> yeah, stay on him. Keep up there. Oh, there's two over there. Seven, don't dive, don't dive, don't dive. Seven, 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 don't dive. Seven, seven, don't dive. They're all up. I'm out of here. I did my fucking part. Need to plan this out. Play with your sound on. <laughs> oh no, he's so upset, man. That's so he's sad to see the state of our nation's youth. <laughs> he's hitting them with like the fucking Monticello insults. <laughs> Pocket, please help and. 
uh, team fights, okay? I'll do my best. No disrespect, by the way. I got five kills, you got two. But you know what? You, you gave me constructive criticism, so I'll, I'll help you out. I, got, I mean, you got two kills and I got five, but whatever. You're probably better than me. We pushing this ship, boys? Let's do that. Let's get this ciabatta. I'm soaking. Okay, get out of there. It's too risky. I guess their warden was down. Never mind. It's not too risky. <laughs> I'm pushing the lane. I'm helping push the lane. I'm pushing the lane. I'm helping in team fights. I'm helping in team fights. Even when all your abilities are done, just click on red health bars. Watch out, man! I went too far! Whatever, we stay in there. I've increased the proportion of damage he takes from magical sources. Zoning ult. We get this cheese, boys. Retreating, retreating. My my fans is retreating, I'm out. Seven's retreating as well, let's go, let's go. Great work. The moon is in sight. We're all equal in the maker's eyes. My brother, it's... It's no sweat off these brows. You're RPing? I'm not RPing, this is how I talk now okay this this is the game right here please let this be an entrance to the team fight this team fight is the fucking game man i got one they won't expect this they're, they're coming back they're coming back boys be careful Don't stand in the fucking shit! Warp crystal me! This is bad. <laughs> I'm going out fighting. <clears throat> hold base, okay, hold base. Four down. Oh, this is bad. Please make a custom build. Come on, man. Let's be honest. <laughs> I don't know what half of the items are called, and I don't know what any of the items do. Get ready. 30 seconds for the rest of our lives. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not stopping anytime soon. Let, let the patron wait for us all. We can stop it before it Lethals. Trust. Bro said I kept them off for a second. <laughs> what is that? Not yet. Okay, Abrams is in. We got a kill. Holy shit. Get on him. Get on him. We got a second kill. I say we kind of loosely for sure. I'm getting in a fucking case, man. I'm gonna have to deal with this malarkey. What the fuck was that? That was crazy. Oh. Oh no, I hit arc when I was trying to type! I was trying to say that one's my bad and I hit R. Microphone active. Can you guys hear me? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't crash. Don't crash. <laughs> the GPU saved me. Successful replay. 
All right, let's see what's going on here. You got it. You got that kill. We need to wait for numbies, though. <clears throat> Half the fun of the game is making your own builds. 100% of the fun that I'm having is playing it. But, like, maybe half of your fun in chat is telling other people to have fun. I can't dispute that. That's between you and God. Let me out. I made a huge mistake. So what, we ult nobody? So what, we ult somebody? Good game. Good game, you know what? GG. GG. No worries, my brother. It was fun. Vindicta is fuming right now. I'm in a freaking solo lane. And I'm loving every minute of it, Jerry. I'm loving every minute of it. I'm Call of Duty reloading. Let me see your face, bud. I missed it. <laughs> Sorry for this bebop. <laughs> Don't be. He chose to play bebop. <laughs> Am I right? That's what people oh are saying God. these days. You're, he's so in it. He's so he's so in it, guys. He knows the meme. Oh, you almost got a deny there. Try being a little faster next time. Look at that. Look at that. Even good in the neighborhood. Our Johnny's been killed. Johnny. That's my son. Johnny. <laughs> I couldn't believe it still gets me. Me neither, honestly. <laughs> She's rotating again. You know what? How do you feel about killing this bebop, Kate? Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it! It's gonna take me a while. Right to... now! Well, I mean, that's not really how ganks work. Like, I gotta... It's gonna take me like two minutes to get to the lane. Come in, come in! Be faster! Okay, I think you like missed him. Oh, did I? Ooh, he's doing it, he's doing it, he's doing it. Oh, did Let's I? go! Kill, kill steal, kill oh, steal, kill steal. <laughs> she stole my kill. <laughs> she, stole, she like literally just like... Popped, she was like, you're not gonna get him. And she popped in and stole the kill. Outrageous. It's Bebop! It's Bebop! Bebop's back! Bebop's back! She's talking about kill skills. It's poor Bebop, man. I guess I should just get out of your lane. I got him. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm in I'm in the dome with the creep. <laughs> I got him. Again. Stop! That's okay. It's worth it. It's worth the trade. It's worth the trade. I better see that Bebop die. I better see that Bebop die. Are you, are you kidding me? There's a Vindicta on me! And I'm the freaking Nunu! Look at my ball sack, man. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm going back to blue. <laughs> you gotta stop saying that. I don't have enough damage right now. I'm a grower, no, not a shower. I know how that is. <laughs> but you're not supposed to laugh at that one. That, that one's for me to laugh at. <laughs> You're doing irreparable damage to my brand of having a large penis. Which is why everybody watches. Wait, what? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm out of here, boys! You're the one who said uh, you, want a, you want many women to fuck with you. That's Gen Z parlance for, like, enjoy the content that I produce. They don't want this smoke, man. I told you they don't want the smoke. She's shooting me. She's shooting me. She's shooting me. Just wait for beam. That one stings. You know what? Lesson learned. Lesson learned on that. I don't want to fuck with the mini boss. I've, I've gotten myself killed for no reason. How, how's the farm going, team? How's the farm going?
I'm out here trying to pick ripe fruits, man. We're protecting home. From creeps? Little me yeah. six, six, six inch tall figurines that do no damage? They do a lot of what's, damage. What's the, what's the voice chat button? I'm about to go off. Holy. That's it. That's the last, that's the last time earth, I'm helping on a earth. team fight. No, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't come. I can't come. With the Gamba lady. En route. Where'd she go? Bing, bing! Lady guys, look at me in the face. Look at me in the face, you coward. That's the last time I ever come in to save your life. We we had a we had that's two kills, lady guys, that you cost me with your with We're your. We're doing so good. Why are you salty? I don't understand. She's costing me my stats, and then at the end of the game, people are gonna be like, "Why are your stats so bad?" There's on there's just unspoken advanced stats that people don't talk about. Okay. You'll be the last one. Now I accidentally raised my DPI or something, and I'm spinning around a, a million miles. And there we go. We're back on 800. Okay. What's the call? Okay, they're gonna overextend. We're gonna kill them all. Help. Oh. Yield me. Yield me. That's my ice, bro. You can't follow me on my ice. Oh, no. <laughs> Whoa. Get in the base, samurai. Can you guys stop using your abilities? Okay. Killer, killer, killer. She's inside. The base. Can you stop nice, using nice. your abilities, guys? Nope, My nice, room's getting nice. very hot. Oh, I think this is a GG. It's looking pretty bad. Okay. Got it one. Nice, got two. I've slowed them down. Ivy. Yes. They're inting. Where'd she go? She's in the air. Oh, fuck. I can't be here! Oh. <laughs> oh! I thought we were doing okay there. I'm under attack. Oh no, the, the Gen Z flaming. Stop walling. Angriest person you've ever seen in your entire life? Heart emoji. It's all love though. Yes! My stats! My stats! Yeah, I don't know why they didn't pull out and get the mid core. Kind of stupid. I'm dead, but... Oh, get this shit. guy in the air. <laughs> nope. What the fuck? Why is it so long? It never ends, man! <laughs> Get away from me! I'm blowing up! <laughs> <laughs> it never ends! <laughs> it's, the, it's the longest ult I've ever seen! <laughs> oh, man. Oh, no. This, this might be GG. It's looking pretty bad, honestly. I don't think Shiv's gonna do much. The streets are saying Shiv's the worst character in the game right now. So oh, I'd, my I'm brother ain't doing there. much, that's for sure. Oh, 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 oh. I don't know. GG. I hit him with the double GG.
at that. Respectful enemy team. Nobody asked my ethnicity or told me to kill myself. <laughs> this is it's a new, uh, it's a new era. I got, I gotta be honest. I was kind of bringing up the rear in that one. You got, you did, you did the the, the last hit. I won the I lane, okay, so if you, all I want to say is if you look at me versus Vindicta in the lane, I was running, I was bodying the I lane. Was I was bodying you. the lane, okay? I was complimenting you, and I, I thought I said you were doing I appreciate good the compliment, stuff. I appreciate the compliment. Let's see the lane stats then. I don't know how to do that, I'm going to click on view graphs by player. I mean, look at, look at this right here. I'm right there at the start of the game. <laughs> then I think I leave lane around 10 minutes, and that's where that's where Vindicta starts to pick up a little bit of farm. All right, well, good games. Are you ready to stream? Uh, sure. I am. What are you gonna play? Um, uh, maybe I'll play some Deadlock to practice with my boy, yes. my mighty cat. Yes. Meow. You did not send me out again. I'm not on the team. <laughs> yeah, but you can just, just, you're like I said, you're our icon. What's an icon? Like on the desktop? You're, you're a mascot, mascot, mascot. Mascot, okay. I can be the mascot. That sounds more like my speed. Yeah, so Nobody cared who I was until I put on the mask. Mighty cat. Meow. Meow. <laughs> I think the mascot gotta be more cheerful. Meow. Yeah. yeah, there you go. There you go. We'll we'll do some practicing of deadlocks. All right, with I my will. Boys. I will send my uh, my audience over there. Enjoy okay. your. Uh, well, I was telling Chad, enjoy your evening. You should enjoy your oh. afternoon. Did you eat? Yeah. Are you hungry? No, okay. I got my food. I'm about to go Ralphie mode on that leftover Chinese food. I don't know who that is. You ever see Matilda? No. He's the kid who eats the whole chocolate cake because Miss Trunchbull is like, oh, you ate my chocolate cake from the fridge? You must love it. Why don't you eat this whole chocolate cake in front of the whole school? And the chocolate cake is like, it's like the size of a building. And he's like getting sick. He's like, oh. But then they go, Bruce, 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 Bruce. And he finishes the chocolate cake. And he goes, yeah. But then Miss Trunchbull, like, I think she grabs him by, like, the back of his shirt. And then, like, she might throw his ass out into the chairs or something like that. I don't know if she was pissed off, though, for sure. So in order to understand that one single line of your reference, I have to watch that whole movie? You can just watch that clip on YouTube, I guess. That, that that sounded oh, like, like 90 least, minutes. That sounded at least 20 minutes long. <laughs> Dude, it's probably like 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, anyway, I, I've got to click the button. Later. Bye. Komodo Town. We just took out Komodo Town. I just got downed. You know, revived me. Now we're heading eastbound. Now we're at the gates of Canada. See the boss and kill him later. Take me to Canada. Wanna kill the boss? Stop the Mongol invasion. And lives been lost. I really want to. Tsushima with you. You could be the ghost of Tsushima. The ghost of Tsushima. I know a girl who has a level two bear who's always overriding whatever food was there she don't like garlic she don't like cheese she don't like lemon or any of these she uses scampi for tippy tippy honey also works it makes more sense right what the hell is this this early flaming lips Boomer. <laughs>